Hello, my name is Tom Rotan, developer of the PowerShift. I'm here today with some of the top players to show you some drills using the PowerShift to enhance your game. Okay, our first drill using the PowerShift is wall ball. I got Chris Understein here, first team All-American at Hofstra, MLL player, and a Torton finalist. He's gonna go through the ins and outs of using the wall ball and the PowerShift. So we're gonna, using the, the PowerShift, we're gonna work on a, a standard pass for, for wall ball against the wall. Uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to have our hands slightly choked up, be about 8 to 10 inches away from your body, and we're just going to point the, the butt end of the shaft at our target, stepping at our target, and just, again, using the power shaft, get as many reps as possible. We're going to pick a, a spot on the wall and make several easy, easy passes. Okay, the power shift has been very popular with women's teams. I happen to have Brie Claire Drost here, <laughs> All-American at a CW Post, two-time national champ. She's going to be showing you how the girls use it. All right, so one of the stick work drills that I like to do for the wall ball is catch and switch. And it's just basic. You just throw, you switch your hands, and you catch. You just do the same with your opposite hand, and you just keep the motion. This really works on being comfortable lefty and righty. Just make sure you're following through. With the power shaft, makes a big difference. So another drill we do, again, just building on uh, the other drills we've been doing is, is doing quick sticks, just going, looking for high reps, trying to get as many as you can, again, working both hands. All right, so the next one that we're gonna do is very similar. You're still catching and switching, but rather than switching when the ball is in flight, you're switching when the ball is in your stick. So you'll catch, you'll catch it, switch hands, then throw. Catch, switch, then throw. Catch, switch, then throw. While you're doing these, it's very important to make sure your feet are staggered and their opposite foot is in front so you can step in to your pass. Again, just going back to quick sticks is one hand. We're going to choke up a little bit. Again, trying to get as many reps as you can. This is, again, just it's a forearm workout. Just working on your forearm, trying to get as many reps as you can. So the next one would be the cross-handed, weak side, passing and catching. And we, you could do it either stick, uh, quick stick or just regular. Um, if you're going to do regular, you'll cradle it, bring it across. But if you're going to do quick stick, it'll just be nice and quick, no cradle. And this really works your entire arm into your back with the power shaft. It's great. So another drill you can do for fun, just taking it, <laughs> taking it to another step, is uh, taking it to another level is uh, behind the back where basically same thing as throwing it in front of you, but we're basically coming from a different angle, going over your shoulder. But same thing, you want to point your stick at your target. I'm feeling, feeling the forearms and my shoulders. And as you can see, I'm sweating. <laughs> now we're going to do a series of shooting drills with the power shaft. The first one is the soft toss and crank. I'm looking to point my elbow at my target, step towards my target, get my hands back, and follow through to the cage. Another way to, uh, to improve the technique of your shot, what we like to do is breaking it down bit by bit, get down on your knees. We're going to focus strictly on the upper part, reaching way back, torquing your body, following through, and shooting at the net. Variation of the last drill we did is simply, again, down on your knees, strictly focusing on the upper body, rotating the opposite way and shooting.
Another drill we, we do using the power shaft is working on shooting over the top, making sure we're shooting 12 to 6. We're going to utilize a netting when we follow through with our shot, making sure that we complete and clear the netting and finish into the goal. Overhand shooting is the most accurate, most accurate, most efficient way to shoot the ball. So it's just promoting shooting the ball overhand. Next up, we have Andrew Hennessy, MLL star, face-off man with the Denver Outlaws and the Charlotte Hounds. He's going to take you through some of his basic fundamental drills using the power shift. So for ball chops, all we're going to do is about 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, a rest. So the first thing we're going to do is just go start chopping the right hand over the ball while keeping this left hand down. And as you feel comfortable, just pick up the speed a little bit. Like I said, about 30 seconds on, you'll feel the stick starting to get heavier. For the next drill, we're gonna just run through the basic clamp move using the power shaft. Just clamp, run that left hand back and forth, reset, and then clamp again. Clamp, run through, reset, clamp, run through, reset. Once we feel, feel like we're getting in a nice rhythm, just keep going forward, reset, forward, reset, forward, reset. You can also use this with a whistle or whoever you want to use it with. Clamp, forward, reset. For the next drill, we're going to do a basic uh, ground ball drill. What we're going to do is pick the ball up, roll it out a couple inches, touch the shaft to the ground, pick it back up, pull it in, roll it out a couple inches, touch it, pick it up, roll it out, Touch it. As you get used to the, uh, the drill, you can definitely speed it up. So you touch it, pick it up, touch it, pick it up, touch it, pick it up, touch it, pick it up. Obviously, as you go 10, 15 yards, it becomes a lot, a lot heavier, a lot harder to do, and a nice workout. Okay, for our next drill, I have Dave Von Voigt, a former player of mine and a standout defenseman. He's gonna be using the power shift to show you defensive drills. Uh, one of the most important things as a defenseman is positioning. Uh, some of the things that you see wrong that defenders do is they have their hands too far apart. When they have their hands too far apart, that causes their bottom hand to come down by their hip. And when their hand's down by the hip, that enables them to bring the stick over if someone dodges on them. So as a defenseman, you wanna have your hands close together you want to keep the stick straight out like this. Another thing that you see defensemen do wrong is they're off balance. They'll put one foot forward. All right. So when you get down and someone's trying to dodge on you, if you have one foot forward, you're off balance. If someone wants to go right, it's going to take you longer to drop step. If they go left, you're not going to have a good enough balance to go with them. So what you want to do as a defenseman, you want to keep your hands close together like this. You want to keep the stick straight out. You want to have a good base, feet about shoulder width apart. So that's why if anyone dodges on you, you have a good drop step and you come right back. So one of my favorite drills I like to do with the power shaft is lateral movement with a few wrap checks. Um, and it looks like this. Get down in a good position, stick straight out, and you just lateral back and forth and you throw checks. And then you come back. And by doing this, you really feel it down your legs, you feel it in your arms, you feel it in your shoulders. Now when you pick up your real stick, it's gonna feel like a feather. All right, the next drill I'm gonna do is pretty much the same thing. Lateral movement with side wrap checks. I'm gonna add in over the head um, as I'm going down laterally. All right, so the drill is pretty much gonna look the same thing. You're gonna get down in a good defensive position, stick straight out. As you move down laterally, you're gonna throw a wrap check, then you come over the head. You move down, you're gonna throw a wrap check, come over the head. Throw a wrap check, come over the head. All right, in full speed, it looks like this. Get down, stick straight out, laterally, over the head, wrap check. Wrap check, over the head. Wrap check, over the head. Come back, wrap check, over the head. Wrap check, over the head. Wrap check, over the head. Go back the other way, wrap check, over the head. You really feel it in your legs, feel it in the arms, 
works the whole body, works your core, everything. The next drill I'm going to do is a drill where I do a drop step and I throw a poke check. This is important for uh, defenders because as the attacking is dodging on them, a lot of times they like to bring the stick across their body. So if you throw a good poke check in the middle of their stomach, it's going to stop them from coming across, knock the ball out. I'm going to add to that as I drop step after I th throw the poke check, I'm going to pull my stick up. I'm going to simulate trying to pick off a pass as they're getting ready to pass to another attackman. So that's what it's going to uh, look like in slow motion. You're going to get down in a good defensive position, stick straight out. You're going to take a drop step, you're going to throw a poke check, and as you come back, you're going to pull your stick up and try to pick off a pass, simulate an attackman trying to pass to another offender. This is what it's going to look like in full speed. All right, the next drill I like to do with the power shaft um, is to simulate throwing. It's good to have the weighted shaft because as you simulate throwing over the head and you bring it back, the weight of the shaft really works your arms, works everything, your shoulders, your wrists, your biceps. And it's good because it helps you get a pop on your check when you're playing against an offender. So as you simulate the throwing, it helps that if offense was going on you, you get a good check on them. You bring it back up. And just go back right into the passing. Hopefully you learned something from these drills today. I know I tell all our players, it's in preparation off the field that makes you a better player. And I know working with the power shaft is going to give you that edge.